Nathan, thanks for joining us. Okay. Back in the broom cupboard today. How is the mood in the camp? Um, obviously yeah, a little bit better after the cup win. Um, we're still very frustrated and, and disappointed um, about recent games, especially at home. Um, but we've got to put that to one side. We've got to work on what we felt went wrong. Uh, we've, we've had a good look at the, the videos and uh, had a good chat about it um, between the squad and the, the staff and things. And uh, yeah, we feel that we we can move on and uh, you know hopefully put that to, to one side and, and really look forward to the games coming up. We've got some uh, some big games and some important games coming up that you know we're wanting to do uh, as well as we can. In. Looking back at um, Tuesday, you guys. Please for Jay to open his account. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean he's he's been working hard. He's he's not got loads of uh, minutes on the pitch, and uh, when he has come on, he's he's tried his best and worked hard for the team. And I think you know anybody uh, who plays up front will know as soon as you get that you know that first goal. Hopefully, that means you know there's many more to follow. And also at the back, he must have been pleased to get a clean sheet. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, just as as well as it is for the, the strikers scoring, uh, for the defenders, it's it's a delight to uh, to get a a clean sheet. Um, you know, we worked hard for it. A couple of uh, dodgy uh, in swinging corners in the first half, and we we managed to deal with that and uh, see see the danger out. So Nuge has been in charge for a couple of weeks almost now. How different has it been in terms of training and stuff? Um, training's been really enjoyable. Um, he's brought Andy Edwards up from the youth team as well. Who's um, you know it's a different voice, different um, ideas session wise and, and things like that. And the lads have really taken to it. And uh, you know they're, they're looking forward to, to getting out there as, as much as we can in training and, uh, and putting on you know hopefully the enjoyable sessions that they've, uh, they've been putting on for us. Sheffield United on Saturday, a side that we know plenty about, having yep. played them a couple of weeks ago. What are you expecting from them? Um, a really tough test, but you know we've got to uh, we've got to use our experience and um, and everything else. You know, playing away from home, we we seem to be picking up um, better results. Um, so we've got to use that to our to our advantage and and look at our strengths and uh, and see what we can uh, we can get out of the game. Yeah, th I think with the away record, I think I'm right in saying it's 11 unbeaten now right. on the road, which is a phenomenal effort, but it's forgotten almost, isn't it, in the, the grand scheme of things this year? Yeah, I guess it is because our home form's been as, as poor as it has. Um, but, you know, if we can uh, we can get that home form right, you know, the, the away form, you know, hopefully stands us in good stead as well. Um, I didn't know that record, but, yeah, it's a, it's a good record to have and, you know, we'll be looking to... Uh, to be pushed out even further if we can. We've had a few different defensive combinations in the last few games. How do you find the lads coming in? People like you had Shane come on yeah. the other day. How have you found it? Those different. It's it's no, it's, it's what it is. I mean, we're we're all experienced enough now to to know each other's positions and you know how to play with one another. Um, you know, we, we hopefully we need to uh, you know keep keep working on that and keep improving on that and. Um, like I say, it was a, it's a start yesterday, uh, the other game, sorry, uh, getting the clean sheet, you know, hopefully we can improve on that. Um, but no, it's, it keeps everybody on the toes, knowing that there's somebody sort of willing to, willing and ready to, to step into your position, I guess. Jack Price has joined the group this week, have you seen much of him yet, had a chance or not? Um, bits and bats in training, but, you know, from, from last season we remember playing against him, you know, he was a very uh, influential player for Wolves, um, you know, so it's a... It's a good uh, good signing for us, um, you know, especially with Lloydie Lloydie missing now. Um, it's a, it's a good signing for us, and hopefully he can uh, can get straight into the team and uh, and do what he did our last season for Wolves. You mentioned Lloydie there. I know you and the guys are close to him. Have you been in contact with him? Been yeah, seen? we we called up um, yesterday evening. Um, we took him out for some food. It was the first time he's um, he's been out of the house, so it was a uh, nice break for. For the misses, I think, um, and the kids, because I can imagine him being a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Um, so yeah, me, Scotty, Cuthbert, and uh, Frenchy took him out for some food and and watched the Johnson's Paint um, game on on Sky um, that evening. So yeah, it was it was nice to see him. He, he seems pretty upbeat and and things. And uh, it's one of them injuries where you've just got to get your head down and and get on with it and go through the, the hard work in, in rehab and things and before you know it you'll be back 